Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we will learn how to generate code coverage report for our tests. If you work in any of the client projects or applications, most likely the client will ask you to present the code coverage report, which is your unit test coverage, right? So if you have written code, how good the quality of the code is, it's determined by your code coverage report. It's important that we know how to generate it, how to analyze it, and it makes sense for us to regularly keep checking it so that we meet the standards. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I'm here to share my knowledge with you all. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll appreciate if you can support me by subscribing to the channel and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. So this is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist where we have now close to 70 tutorials uh, in the playlist from basic introduction to advanced and the playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out if you really want to learn and master Angular 9. So in this mini series where we are focusing on Angular testing, this is a basic series like I have informed earlier. We'll be writing the code, we'll be covering testing in detail going forward in terms of writing the unit test in Protractor, Jasmine, Karma, much, much more detail that's for later. But in this episode of in this series, we are focusing on just understanding the utilities that are provided by Angular. That being said, today we are going to learn about how to generate code coverage report in this tutorial. So code coverage, why is it important? You work on any client projects on any SOW projects the clients expect you to deliver a quality product. The quality which can be judged is based on the code coverage. So if you write a piece of code, is it testable? Was it tested? Has it been tested correctly with negative use cases? So these are the questions which will be answered in the code coverage report. How many lines of code was written? How many functions were written? How many branches were there? and how many variables have been defined correctly, the coding pattern, the coding syntax has been followed or not. So this will set you uh, the coding standards, the code coverage report has to be uh, more than 85% in order to consider that your code is of good quality, right? Some, some clients focus and insist on 90, 95%, but 85% is something that I would say is a good quality code. Now let's learn how to generate a unit test code coverage in two ways. One, we can add it inside the angular.json uh, file itself and the other is you can pass it as a parameter, right? So let's see that in action now. Open the browser, I have my application running. I'm going to cancel this. All right, so first let's go to angular.json file and you would see the schematics, you will see the details for everything under that under architect right inside angular.json inside your project you'll have architect inside that you will have various steps to it right like build serve test lint e2e go under test inside test you will see options so here you can mention it like code coverage is true so if you set it like this whenever you run the test it will generate code coverage for us. Let's see that in action. So I'm just going to run ng test. So this will run the application. It will give me the Jasmine using Karma Runner and it would also give me some metrics on the current code quality of this particular sample project that we are doing. It would be bad, I know, since we are not following too many things, but then the idea is to understand what the report looks like. So the idea here is we have to pass a parameter called code coverage and enable it to true under test. So whenever we run ng test, it would automatically give us the report at the end. All right. So you see here it says statements 30%, branches 100%, functions 0, lines, etc. etc. Right. It's running only two because in the previous episode we have seen how to set 
the f describe so i'm going to remove that here if you are not sure about what it is i request you please check out the previous tutorials so that you have your learning continuity right so now again we have compiled let's go back to angular.json under test i have added code coverage true now it will give me a new report so now see it has executed 7 have failed 18 have passed and this is the new report right so this is how you get a coverage summary this is the code coverage summary report right now the second way of doing it is if you don't want to do it here for every time that's fine what you can do alternative is you can pass it as a parameter option and you can say ng space test space option hyphen hyphen code coverage so when you say this it will give you the code coverage report this is another way of doing the same basically so there are two ways however you prefer there is no right or wrong uh, usually if it's in the build bucket pipelines or something it we would use this option using the passing up option into the uh, command and we have also seen how to customize these port numbers etc in the previous ones so you would be familiar with all of that if you are not make sure you check out the previous videos so just so you get comfortable with it so you see basically it's the same report right that comes out okay so now if you also see there would be a folder which is created here right it would by default give you the code coverage into the coverage um, folder so you can go to HTML and view that also right um, so you can also say open in reveal in Explorer okay so I'm going to open it in a Chrome browser so you can see this is our report right so once you open that you can see which folder which file has enough details which doesn't have what how much percentage of statements how much branches how many functions were there how many lines were covered so basically you expect this report to be green color when you give it to your client it will give you green if it's more than 60 percent but the idea here is to capture that um, close to 80-85 uh, percent right so that is that is how you would see so if you see that any of your um, components that you have created should be thoroughly tested right so it should be covered it should not be red it should be green color so you can also alternatively go to the folder structure of your application and open it from there that's also allowed um, so yeah so that that being said uh, so this is the way you generate the code coverage for your angular applications you would see a report like this which you want to share it with your clients all right so give it a try check what's the code coverage report for your applications drop me a note if it's 80 85 percent i would love to hear that all right so that would be the last um, of the series in this mini series in the next uh, mini series that i'm starting is on build and deployment where i will teach you how to build your angular applications how to deploy them into actual server so you will learn all about it and like i said this is not the end of the testing series i'm going to publish more detailed ones on how to write your uh, unit test how to write your end-to-end -end scripts in detail in the after maybe once we do some live project do let me know how you are finding these tutorials you like it or not keep posting those comments it's a really motivating it's really encouraging to see your comments like it if you want me to improve on something please do provide your feedback thanks again for watching see you in the next episode where we cover building and deploying angular application thank you so much